Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Pleasant Grove and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional today out of Isaiah 1, 18, probably one of my favorite verses in the Bible. And it says, Come now, let's settle this, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, I will make them white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, I will make them white as wool. You see, uh, this verse in the Bible is just, uh, I don't know how anybody could could uh, not love this verse. Where it says, let us settle this. Your sins are like scarlet or red. You know, white is the symbol of purity and nothing nothing dampens that whiteness more than stains. And each and every one of us has the scarlet stain of sin. It says it's like crimson, a stain on our on our garments. And instead of leaving us to try to clean it ourselves, which we cannot, Christ says, let us settle this. God says, let us settle this. I will wash them white as snow. I will make them white as wool. Amen. And he does this through the blood of Jesus. Nothing cleanses our stain of sin like the blood of Jesus. And so God says, let us settle this here and now. And the wonderful thing about, about God saying, let's settle this, the wonderful thing that you and I can take away from this is when God says, let's settle this. When God says, your sins are like scarlet, but I will make them white as snow. He's not just talking about forgiving our sins. He's talking about completely forgetting them. You see, so many times Christians have this, this sense of guilt over sins that they've committed in the past. But if it's under the blood, that guilt is not from the Lord. That guilt is from Satan trying to get you to think that you're not good enough or that the blood of Jesus isn't good enough. But God says, let us settle this. Though your sins are like scarlet, I will make them white as snow. They're, though they are crimson, I will make them white as wool. And when God washes them away, they are completely forgotten. There is no longer a mark of sin on our body. There's no longer a mark of crimson on our white purity. And so let's settle this here and now. Christ died to forgive you of your sins, and may you accept that today, and may you understand that once it's accepted, there's no need to keep bringing up past sins because it's under the blood. 